So this is pre-World War II German-made uh, tube tester, which is very interesting. Um, here are uh, tube types which you can test, and each tube tube type has its own card. It's it's like a program or like yeah, it's like software software for this uh, tester. For example, let's take some old, very old tube. I have here Marconi, Marconi, uh, Tetro, the KT2, and let's test it. Uh, obviously, I can put it only in this place here. And uh, for that I have to find a card for Marconi. Here is a Marconi, Marconi KT2, card number 139. And then you can see that no 139 is here. Here you have a basic data for this um, tube printed on this card. And it is placed here. Yeah, and this... Uh, arrow shows you that you should use that slot and, and this card shows uh, how uh, which pins you have to connect basically uh, connecting uh, uh, right voltages to right pins in, in, in this socket that's what I do now with the help of this printed software and testing starts with uh, turning this knob. The first thing you you do is uh, uh, is you test uh, uh, filament. Filament seems to be good because when I take out this, then the, it shows uh, that it's break. It's broken. And now uh, the next uh, positions uh, show whether there are short, short shortings between uh, electrodes inside the tube. And there uh, seem to be no... nothing. And now uh, there is a 4.5 volt uh, grid bias. And there is no current. And there is no current. This is a bad tube. This is bad tube. Let me see if I can find any any good tube. Let's see what's this. Yes, that tube seems to be good as there is some current flowing uh, uh, in that position. And to this to test. Uh, whether the tube is good, uh, there is a written good. So f from from that place, in in that range, the uh, an old current is good, and that must be on zero volt grid grid bias, no no grid bias, and it shows that there is a 16 milliampere that is more than good. So that's how it works. Very simple and basic equipment. 